Hello, everybody. Oh, good news. Pastor George is back. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. We're going to have a great time talking about, the, what is it? Faith for supernatural provision. Praise God. Gloria, I like that. I'm so excited about this time that we have together. I'm always excited about sitting down with you and the Word of I God. I enjoy hearing you, George. You are just so hungry for the I Word am. of God, and you have instilled into me and all of our family this hunger Praise for the Word. God. And awesome. that's why I'm here today, is to stir up that hunger in you yes. that she stirred up in me all of these years, lo, these mm -hmm. 38 now years. My goodness. Think about it. How old are my? Wow. How old are my anyway? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Gloria, I'm excited about what we're getting into in these two weeks. We are going to be talking about supernatural provision. Praise God. And the Lord has just had me really focusing on this uh, about the supernatural, and not just supernatural provision, but the supernatural in general. Yeah. But what we are focusing in on is supernatural provision because you and I began 161 broadcasts ago. Glory to God. A discussion of prosperity yes. that just keeps going on keeps and on going. and on and on. And <clears throat> so let's do this. Let's pray over this okay. together. Good. And I want you to begin to release your faith yes, for the supernatural. Expect the supernatural. And we'll get into this and find out exactly what the supernatural is all about and exactly what supernatural provision is available to every one of us. Hallelujah. I like it already. There are things that are available to us, Gloria, that we've had no idea that belong to us. In, in God providing in ways that, that go beyond what the natural mind can think. So I'm ready. Okay. George. How about you? All right, I'm ready. Pray. Father, we pray over this time together and we thank you for the supernatural. We yes. thank you that even though the economy may be saying one thing and the job market may be saying one thing, Lord, you are saying you are what saying. we need to hear. Yes. You are doing what we need to do. You are providing in the way we need to be provided for thank and you're doing it supernaturally above, thank beyond, you. over, anything that we can dare ask or think. And glory and I come into agreement yes, today Lord. that in these next 10 days, we are, our spirit is becoming enlarged Thank you, Jesus. to receive all that you have for us. Everything that you want us to do, everything that you want us to accomplish and begin to have a miracle mind. A miracle. Begin to have a supernatural yes. mind, supernatural thinking. Hmm and thinking out of the box, Lord thinking God. out of the limitations. And Father, we honor you and thank you for this time together. Thank you. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen. 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 And I do, I want to thank you and Kenneth, and Gloria, and Kenneth, <laughs> you and Kenneth, you're Gloria, that's yeah, Kenneth, that's right. for, for what you have imparted into my life all of these years. George, you've been such a tremendous blessing to us. I am, I am. To the ministry, to the people. I mean, this, this was our deal. Let George do it. Let George do it. <laughs> well, George can do that. When I, when he I, can pastor. <laughs> when I, yeah, he can let him pastor. <laughs> uh, when I came on the scene here, Gloria, I was already hungry. I had already been listening to the tapes that Brother Copeland was preaching, and I was ready and Praise raring to go. God. And I have never stopped learning. I think that's one thing that's so important about yeah. no matter where that's we are, right. That's right. we never stop learning. Mm -mm. We never quit taking in. And that's why the that's Lord... That's the key to victory right there. That's the key to victory, is you don't stop. You keep going with this. Keep the Word <clears throat> going in. And, and something and coming out. that the Lord has had me pressing into. And you know, the Lord has had many of us pressing into this. Pastor Bill Winston had a word from the Lord about this year that this year would be the year of the supernatural. That's right. Brother Copeland had a word some, a few years ago, and, and we'll begin with that right here. This word that Brother Copeland had, and we're jumping off into this subject with this word, rejoice and renew your faith in the supernatural. Amen. Gloria, I was looking through some of my notes, some of the things that I've collected over the years, and I found this. And this one phrase right here, rejoice and renew your faith in the supernatural, it lit a fire That's on the inside good. of me that has not quit. And I'm looking the for the supernatural. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So we rejoice yes. and renew our faith. Renew our faith. Renew our faith. 
What that I says agree. to me is perhaps we've, we've backed off a little bit on believing for the supernatural, of using our faith in believing God for the things them. that we need. Yep. And so we are renewing our faith for the I time, like for the time, for it is the time for the words and the faith and the preaching that has gone on before us to come to pass and to come to full, full. maturity. Amen. We will stand up and say, surely the glory has come down. Praise God. Gloria, I am I like renewing it. my mind in this. I have made a determined study in this to listen to, to read about, to study, and to prepare myself for the supernatural, supernatural provision. Really, you can take this in so many different directions, talking about supernatural health, supernatural favor, supernatural deliverance, supernatural protection. And we need all of that Amen. in a time like we are in right now. Gloria, we've never seen a time like we're in right now. All of the things that are going on on the earth, we need to know how to live the supernatural life. That's the truth. Wow. Oh my. Wow. I think of things, and I don't even want to mention it, but things I see on the news. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And I think, yeah. I never thought I'd see the day. Mm -hmm when somebody <clears throat> would do a thing like that. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's like we're right on the edge. It seems yes. like we're right on the yes. jumping off place of the catching away of the church and the tribulation coming in. And it's the devil trying to bring fear into yeah. our lives. And in a time like this, we need to know how to live the supernatural life. We've got to live. We must live the That's supernatural life. That's where the victory life. is. All of these notes are available online, kcm.org. Oh, tell, them, tell them where that came from. That was prophesied. Oh, that word? Mm -hmm. That was from Brother Copeland. De oh, this is interesting. December 24th, 2005. We were, it was Christmas Eve at your house. Oh. And whenever we get together, Things we happen. just know as things happen. <laughs> Christmas, Thanksgiving, I didn't even see that whatever it is. I just, I just remembered that it was, yeah. it was Christmas Eve of 2005, and we had one of those times where we got together for Christmas. We had our wonderful meal. We ate. We opened our tremendous presents, and then we sat down with Brother Copeland, and he began to open the Word Praise to us. Praise God! In that. What and we have received on Christmas Eve messages from the Lord. Uh, the, 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 the state of the nation. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and this one, this particular Christmas That's Eve, awesome. he encouraged, the Lord encouraged us to renew our faith yeah. in the supernatural. Praise God. Read it again, George. Renew, rejoice. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> and renew your faith in the supernatural. I get it. For it is time for the words and the faith and the preaching that has gone on before us to come to pass and to come to full maturity we will stand up and say, surely the glory has come down. Wow. And now, that goes right along. Now think about it. That was Christmas Eve. Yeah, 2005. 2005. So it's, we should be well into this. Well into it. Now. Well into it. That's right. And so these notes are available to you online. Just go to the homepage, click to the picture of Glory and Me. It'll take you over to the broadcast and to the notes that we're doing. And I want, I'm going to say this every day, I want your supernatural provision yeah. testimony. Yes, we do. We, we want, want to, to know that. what God is doing over and above mm -hmm. in your life. That new house that you receive, that new car that the Lord brings to you, the provision for your family, for your church. Healing. Healing, coming to you supernaturally. Yeah. Supernaturally. So let's talk today about what is the supernatural. Okay. When you take the word supernatural and you break it down, it's very simple. The word super means over and above, beyond, higher, surpassing, or outside the natural realm. I like realm. that, outside the natural realm. It's, it's something that comes to us. It's something that happens to us that is outside of this natural, human, limited world. So that's super. Then natural means it's the lower or below or limited to the earthly realm. Conforming to the ordinary course of nature, it is something that is deduced by human reason alone rather than by divine revelation. Now remember, these notes are available to you, so you need to get these. That's what the natural is. So when you put the yeah. two words together, Gloria, you have in supernatural, you have something that takes place outside of the natural world. Yeah. 
It's something that is over, above, higher, and beyond the ordinary course of nature. Amen. I'm looking for the miraculous. supernatural. It's the miraculous. It is miraculous. It is the miraculous. And I'm looking for it every day. Praise God. Every day. You're I've told this, told this before on the broadcast, but every morning when Terry and I get up before the lights go on, and this is just what we, we've been doing this for the year. We started earlier this year. And <clears throat> I've gotten into the habit where I will get out of bed, I'll go around to her side of the bed. And in the dark, I will begin to declare, we are expecting our so greatest good. blessing ever today because great grace is upon us all. Amen. This is the year of victory over death. It is the manifestation yeah. of the love of God. Awesome. We are walking in the supernatural. The glory of the Lord is being declared over our lives, our church, our ministry. Could you come on over to my house? Yeah. <laughs> I'll wake morning. you guys up in the morning. <laughs> Gloria, That's I, awesome. I do that every morning That's in, great. in the dark. And then lately what I've been doing is I will say, and let there be light. Bang. I turn the lights on. <laughs> and that's what happens every day. But I'm telling you, Gloria, it's working. It is working. It's working. We declare healing over our bodies, prosperity over our yeah. lives, finances over our church, and we are expecting the supernatural. Amen. We're expecting that's the right. supernatural provision. That's what we do. have to get into a <clears throat> place of expecting, not being, and certainly when we pray, Expect it to come to pass. And now, what well, do yeah. you think? Well, it'd take a long time. No, we're in the supernatural. We're in the supernatural. Super is over and above the That's natural. That's it. That's Glory it. To God. That's it. Over Good and George. above the natural. You got me stirred up already. So here, the definition of supernatural provision is an unlimited, mm -hmm. overwhelming supply that comes from above. Oh, hallelujah. That's what supernatural provision is. It's unlimited. I like that. It is an overwhelming. It'll overwhelm you. There's no you. end to it. No end. No, no end. No rationing of it. No, no rationing. It is what we need. Yeah. In spite of Whatever what's going on around us, we have supernatural provision that's available to right. us. The scripture here in James 1:17 in the Amplified, every good and perfect, free, large, and full gift is from above, and it comes down from the Father of all that gives light. Thank That's you. supernatural yeah. provision. The message translation, every desirable and beneficial gift comes out of heaven. And like we said before, it comes glorious. So the supernatural provision comes when the situation, the paycheck, the economy, the job market, and others are saying there's no way to meet this need. It is humanly impossible. But, and, but God. But God. But God. He has, listen to this, he's got unusual ways, unlimited avenues of provision that supersede all the natural yeah. limitations. He can multiply the bread <clears throat> and the fish. He can do it. Feed thousands. Yeah. We see, we've seen it in the scripture. We've seen it. All kind of supernatural We've seen it. Things. Glory to God. Bill Winston says faith gives access to the supernatural. Yeah, so we right. have to use our faith for this. We have to believe this. And one of the things that we're offering today on the broadcast is a series that Bill Winston did called The Supernatural Church, four Good. CDs. I've oh, listened to it over and over. And he says, listen to this, if you put things off in time, I hand wrote that down at the bottom. If you put things off in time and are looking through the natural progression yeah. mm -hmm. of time, you can't operate in the supernatural. No. The supernatural only operates by faith, and faith is a higher law than time. Yes, that's right. Praise that's God. good, George. Praise faith God. is a higher law <clears throat> than time. That's absolutely true. That's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Let's look, Gloria, at Ephesians. Bill got that right, didn't he? Chapter 3, Living in the Realm of the Superabundance. And that really is the subtitle to our series that we're teaching. Supernatural Provision, Living in the Realm of God's Superabundance. Amen. God's Superabundance. We're familiar with this scripture. Ephesians 3, 20. Have you, do you have your Amplified there? Is that your Amp? I do. <clears throat> Take a look at that, Gloria. Ephesians 3, 20. In the King James Version, it says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works within us. Gloria, yeah. Ephesians 3.20, what's that in the Now Amplified? to him who in consequence of the action 
are because of the action of his power right. that is at work within us. So this is doesn't gonna, yeah. it's not gonna happen for every Tom, Dick, and Harry that's unless right. they got the <laughs> power. Word. Gotta have the word working yeah, on the inside. Right. Yes. So uh, now, where was I looking? Lost twenty, somebody. verse twenty. Verse twenty. <clears throat> now to him who, by consequence of the action of his power that is at work within us, is able to carry on his yes. purpose yes. and do super abundantly, abundantly. I like that word. Far over and above all that we dare ask or think infinitely beyond, beyond our highest prayers, desires, infinitely, I'm going to in, infinitely. non-ending. That's right. Infinitely no end. No beyond end. our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, our dreams. Wow. Faith will bring your dreams to pass, George. Faith as we've will bring your dreams to pass. Glory. I got goosebumps. Wow, I do too. Glory. I'm just up to here right now. Just, woo, praise church. God. And in Christ Jesus throughout Glory all generations. That's us. See, That's we're us. still here. Yeah, we're here. All we're generations here. forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I, I did an amplified Greek and NIV combination of that scripture. Let's hear it, it says this. God is able to do superabundantly, immeasurably more, oh, yeah. quite That's beyond true. what is normal or regular, without limit, and then some on top of that, exceeding yeah. abundantly above and infinite be, infinitely beyond. Awesome. When you're operating in the supernatural, you're operating in a different place. It's a, you are. You are operating we are. in a different place. And supernatural provision, I wrote this down, will unfix a fixed income. God has ways to provide for us, Gloria. And I'm making this available in the notes. This is something that I did some years ago when Terry and I were believing God for our house. I was thinking about when we were believing God for a house. You're yeah. thinking about that too? <laughs> yeah. And how he provided? Well, one of the things we're going to talk about, it'll be next week. But, but we'll be... we, were, we were paying cash for it. You were paying cash. Believe and pay it out That's for 35 right. or 40 years. We believe to pay cash for it. We're going to talk and about everything was right on time. Right on time. Glory and we'll God. be talking about how to believe God for your supernatural house. Yeah. There is a supernatural oh, house and available. No, so such a blessing. And I provide here there's a list of scriptures, 21 ways that God supplies 191 scriptures. <laughs> if you go Great. If you go to the website, get the notes of this, you can print these out. This you can have these 191 these. scriptures. George, you did a little research, didn't I you? I wanted to know. <laughs> I'm increasing my faith. I'm believing God for the supernatural. And he's showing this to us. I'm well, our, our time is running short on well, this one, Gloria. So good. My goodness. <clears throat> Let's answer this last question. You're right there in the vicinity of Philippians. Turn to Philippians 4. Philippians 4. And we're looking at verse 19. Even though we are aware of this scripture, we must allow the revelation of God to keep coming to us, to keep shining on us. It says in Philippians 4:19, "But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus." Yes, I the glory you, of God. In the days when we needed everything, that was my big my big stick right there. That was That was, <laughs> that was Gloria's big stick right That's there. It. The, I like, and I wrote down in my notes, Gloria, an amplified Greek translation. And my God will liberally Go for it. supply, yep. fill to the full, your every need according to His riches. That's right. Not according to what's going on in there. That's right. According to His riches and glory in Christ That's it. Jesus. So it doesn't matter if the, if the economy's bad, whatever's happening around you. We're not connected to that. That's We're right. We're connected to that. Come on. Hallelujah. We're not connected to that. We are connected to that. That's right. Praise I God. I like it. George, you've already preached me happy. Supernatural provision supersedes the impossible. It, it does. absolutely yeah. flies. Miracles. Over, and miracles. The miraculous. And I want to give a quote here as we finish up today's broadcast. My goodness, this went fast. I know it. Wow. We need to believe God for more time. <laughs> I'll see if Here's, this, is, this is something that I took from Bill Winston. I heard it on television first. I recorded it. And then I found out that it was on a series that he taught that we are offering. Oh, so good. Oh, good. Listen to this, Gloria. Listen to this. He says, the supernatural takes us past the impossible 
Mm-hmm. through the unbelievable oh, that, into, into the ridiculous oh, my. as God is bringing into you into this supernatural. He's bringing you into a place where the supernatural is no longer an option. It's going to be a requirement That's right. for you to get what God has for you. It requires the supernatural. You know, you, the blessing wow. gets so big. People do say that. Well, isn't that ridiculous? Isn't they, that ridiculous? They didn't need that big house. They didn't need that new car. That's just ridiculous. They had a good car. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Glory to God, I like it. And then listen to this. We just have seconds left on this. But, but Brother Copeland, during the Southwest Believers Convention this year, on July the 1st, uh, that was a Tuesday, the Tuesday at 3 p.m., he gave a word from the Lord. I wrote it down here at the Is bottom. It there? Yeah. Okay. Page I got it. two. Yeah, I'll see it. Down at the bottom, second page there. It says, listen to this, we have already entered the supernatural environment that God has been looking Praise for. God. All there it is, right Where, down right there. there. All these years. We have entered. You We've know, already I don't entered. Remember that prophecy. I'm so glad you Well, here's it what I've done, attention. Gloria. As I was sitting there listening to him and others, I will something will strike my spirit. Mm-hmm. And we knew, uh, Carlene and I, the producer, knew that we were going to be teaching on this way back during the the Southwest Convention. And when he said that, I texted her right away. She was in the truck producing. I texted her right away. I said, I said, make a mark on that. We need to keep that. Yes, amen. Need to keep that. Wow. And so we have entered into, Gloria, the supernatural environment. We're already there. You and I have entered into today the supernatural environment. If you're not there, you need to get there. Just take it. That's right. Jump in it. Jump in. It's like a pool. Just jump in. (laughs) It's here, here, here. Glory to God. That's right. We are talking about supernatural provision. I like it. God has ways to provide for us. They're over and above, beyond what we have ever thought or considered before. But we are considering those things because our minds are becoming renewed to the supernatural. We are becoming renewed in the yeah. sense of our faith being renewed to the supernatural. That's the right. word that Brother Copeland had for us. Rejoice and renew your faith in the supernatural. That's right. Praise God. So we are talking about supernatural provision. As always, all of these notes are available to you online. Just go to kcm.org, click onto the picture of Glory and Me, and it'll take you right to the broadcast and to our notes. All of these notes, plus what we don't get to on these broadcasts, are available to you, and we want your supernatural testimony. Yes, amen. Amen. I'm asking every day because I just keep hearing more and more. It helps people. It does help people. It does help people to hear what God is doing for them. We'll have a testimony that we'll show, I think, sometime next week about a partner who purchased five houses debt free. Praise God. That's, Hallelujah. that's supernatural. At one time? Or I think it's a, no, I think it's at one time they bought it for their kids. Praise God. Woohoo! Glory Praise to God. God. That is supernatural. Are you hinting, George? <coughs> no. You've already I, got one debt I've, got a, I've got a beautiful house. You believed it for yourself. <coughs> that's Hallelujah. right. Praise God. Well, Gloria, uh, yesterday we began talking about this and enlarging our so faith good. for the supernatural. Oh, and, 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 and the supernatural provision being provision that comes from a higher place in a higher way. Super. Unlimited. Supernatural. No boundaries. I mean, up and over. That's what the supernatural is all about. Amen. Today, we're talking about something very important because when you talk about supernatural provision, you always have to come to this. And that is, we must recognize who is our supernatural provider. Oh, absolutely. Yes. We must recognize that. And honor it. And honor him in that. Philippians chapter 4. Let's look at that again. We began, we ended up there yesterday. Let's take a look at it again. Philippians 4.19. My God shall supply all, all All, your need. Got it circled all. All according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You know, the glory of God, I heard a definition one time about the glory of God. It is the presence of God heavy with everything good. Yes, that's right. That's the glory of God. Mm -hmm. The presence of God heavy. Now, let's see something else. You know, I'll read a scripture, some real scripture, different things will stand out to you. Sure. 
Now this says he'll do that. He'll do that providing by Christ Jesus. Yes. So he's the source. He's the source. he can handle it. Exactly. By, by Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. It's not by my strength, your strength. All we have to That's do is right. flow in line with him. Believe the word. Right. Obey him. That's right. Believe God and he'll bring it to pass. It's our trust in him, our confidence in him, That's right. our faith in him, our faith in the word of what he said and what he provided. It's by Christ Jesus. And then we get into the power of by Christ Jesus. Oh, that's good, Gloria. We open the door. That's it. That's it exactly. I'm telling you, Jesus loved us just as much when we didn't, when we were so poor as Brother Hagin used to say that we couldn't pay attention. Yeah. He loved us. <laughs> yeah, he did. But we didn't give him any opening with faith, you know, because we didn't know. The moment we began to find out about faith, we began to prosper, and we began to believe God. We got out of We it. didn't give him an opening with faith. It was there all the time. Yeah, it was there. He had it. But we weren't there. We weren't believing. We, weren't we there. didn't know. But the moment we started yeah. believing yeah. God, we were in that little rent house in Tulsa with Ken was enrolled in school and I was home with the little kids and we had an old it's a, like a project type ha old house. Right, right. right. Old right. furniture, old car. But we had a car. You had a car. <laughs> we were glad. You had a car. And, and uh, when we began to hear Kenneth Hagin teach about faith, yes, all that all that poverty just went out the door. Wow. We believed God for one wow. thing at a time, and then we saw we were also believing God to do what they said in the Word. Yes. So at the same time, we had nothing. We saw the Scripture. About borrowing money. Yes, 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 yes. We thought we were <laughs> shot down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. actually, it just, instead of holding you back, it makes all things possible. Yes. Because you're not limited. And he's, you're not he, limited to what the bank will do. You're not right. limited to who will right. do this or what. But you're limited, nothing at all, because Christ Jesus Come on. is meeting your needs. Come on. According, to, a, according to his riches. Not the stock market, not That's, what's happening in Come on, earth, Gloria. But his you're riches preaching. in glory. Praise God. Heaven has always got a great economy. Yes, Gloria. They've never had a recession. <laughs> They've never had a depression. That's right. They've got that's so right. much in heaven, they just pave their streets in gold. That's it. That's where that's where I receive from. Wow. That's the family that's part of my receive. receiving right there. That's it. I'm in the family. Awesome. I'm born into the family. Born into the, we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ we Jesus. We are. We are part oh, of the man. royal family. We are. Lord. And he is the source. He's the source. He's the source. And all things that's why all things are possible to him that believes. That's right. Because and I'm believing. Yeah. I'm believing that as well. We this Greek translation that I found, my God will su liberally supply, <laughs> fill to the full, cram, furnish, satisfy, finish, and complete all of your needs, employment, requirements, lack, and business according to his riches, yeah. his wealth, his money, his possessions in glory by Christ Jesus. <coughs> Amen. There it is right there. Yeah, no limits. No limits. That's what supernatural is. <coughs> Pardon me. And yet it doesn't matter what's happening in the earth. It doesn't. Because we're not, we're not receiving from earth. It doesn't. It, we receive from the earth in a way, but after God gives it to us. Now, you just said something there. We're not receiving from the earth. We're receiving from heaven. That's right. Like we were already... I got a revelation. Come on. Like we were already there. Like we were already Because we're born there. of God. Heaven is our home right now. If I left this body, I'd go right to heaven. Yeah. I mean, it's my home right now. Yeah. So we, we, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on. So we, we live in, in a, a heaven reality. Yes. Even though physically and in the flesh, we're still in the earth. Right. Right. We're in the spirit. We're in the spirit. And we get in, we get our faith. It's a spiritual force. It changes anything from the word of God wow. for prosperity, Wow. for healing, for Peace and relationships, family members, my, my, my. I've preached myself happy. He is our source. And the source is heaven. Mm -hmm. The riches mm -hmm. in glory. No limits. No limits by Christ Jesus. Amen. All limits are taken off. That's right. All boundaries are pushed away. We have available to us everything that is written in his word. 
and he has fully supplied it. Amen. That's why it says in the the 23rd Psalm, my cup yeah, runs over. That's good, George. I shall that's, not That's lie. a good description I of it, shall, too. My cup runs over. My cup over. runneth over. Hallelujah. And we have to expect that every day. He daily loads it's a daily, us. It's a way, to li a way of life. Yeah, it's a way, way of life. And he daily loads us with benefits. That's what the scripture says, and I believe it. And it's supernatural. It's a supernatural act. Awesome. He is our source. We must settle that. That's right. You must settle today. God is your source. Mm -hmm. His Word is our source. I found this scripture, Gloria, 1 Corinthians 8, 6 in the Amplified. <clears throat> it says, Yet for us there is only one God, the Father, oh, who yeah. is the source Glory of all things for whom we have life. Oh, my, my. And one Thank Lord, you. Jesus Christ, through and by whom are all things and through and by whom we ourselves exist. Limitless. 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 He is our source. <clears throat> now, I like this word that Brother Copeland delivered. This was at the Washington, D.C. meeting, November 11th of 2010. We have a Washington, D.C. meeting com coming up here pretty quick. But listen to this word that he delivered. Don't look to the government for your supply. Amen. Don't look to other people for your supply. No, no. Pastors, don't look to your congregation for your supply. Jesus is our source. Jesus is our source. The blessing of Abraham oh, is our source. Good. And the Word is our supply. Good, George. We're That's driving good. home one point today and one point only, that God is your source of supernatural provision. He is our supernatural provider. Let's say that three times together. He is, he is our, our supernatural, supernatural provider. provider. He, he is our supernatural provider. provider. He, he is, is our supernatural provider. provider. Now, George, I'm not just telling you something I read in the newspaper. We've lived this out for yes, you how have. many years? 40 <clears throat> plus years. Yes. And uh, started out with nothing, you know, just a little rent house on down there on the close to the river in Tulsa. And when we be, we needed a car, we needed everything, everything, clothes, everything. But God, we began to get in the Word, and we found out about faith from Brother yeah. Hagen. Yeah. Ken was in Brother Robert's meetings, yeah. listening to him preach about healing, and yeah. we found out it belongs to us, and we just it's took. Yours what belongs to us. And Gloria, you, you have to know this, Terry and I, Kelly, John, yeah. Marty, Jeremy, Sarah, Rachel, Lindsay, Jenny. I mean, I'm listing off all of our yeah. family members. We've been watching the two of you all of these years. And you, you've been doing it yourself. And we have been doing it. And one thing that we've noticed about you of many things is that whenever this ministry has been through a tough time, and I was executive director during one of those particular <laughs> times, um, you never went on the broadcast and begged for money. You looked to your source. My source, that's right. You looked to your source. God is our source. And every time our source has been faithful. For how many years? 40 plus years. 40 plus years. Glory to God. 45, 46, He'll be, 47. He will be faithful forever and eternity. We're, we're headed for 50 years as a ministry. 50 years? I'm hardly 50 years old. And what are you talking about? I know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it does. It does. Oh, and we have so had exciting. fun all of these years because we've watched you and Kenneth Make God the source of Praise this God. ministry, That's what we do. the source of your life, and we've watched God faithfully supply and provide. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and you have to get that mentality of Him being the provider. Yeah, we have to. That has to renew our minds. And you I took some get time. That right here. Yes, exactly. And <clears throat> let me read this to you. Okay. Turn, if you would, Gloria. Look over at Genesis chapter twenty-two, and this scripture is talking about God being our supernatural provider. And this is Abraham and Isaac. Mm -hmm. When Abraham took Isaac up to, the, the, to be sacrificed and the Lord yeah, provided yeah. for him. Um, in verse 7 it says, But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham said, My son, 
God will provide himself a lamb for the burnt offering. So he's, Abraham is recognizing right there who the source is. Uh -huh. My God will provide. That's right. My God will That's provide. Exactly. And you need to say that. You need to say that in the face of whatever you're facing right now. My God will provide. My, my God will supply. My God is supplying right now. We, we need to get into this now mentality. We need to get, because it's already provided. It's already ours. So what do we do? And we, we take it. We, we take it. it. We, we take it. We receive it. Yeah. In verse 13, Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him was a ram caught in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for the burnt offering instead of his son. The, so Abraham, the offering was already there. The offering was there. But what if he hadn't <clears throat> lifted up his eyes and looked to the Lord? And to me, around? to me, Gloria, that the lifting up of the eyes is symbolic of us lifting up our faith. Yes, that's right. Looking, looking at him, to him, lifting up our eyes instead to the word of, the of God yeah. instead of to the natural and, and seeing ourselves as not having and not being able to have but it's available to us right now. This is available. And you can see it when you don't have it. Yes, you I mean, can. that's the only way you, you get can. it. I, mean, I, I always go back to that little house in Tulsa, furnished in early Goodwill, and just a little bitty thing, nothing, you know, a second-hand car and, and maybe third-hand furniture. And uh, wow. you had to look up. You had to look up. Mm -hmm. And when you look up, you're looking to God, you're looking to heaven, you're looking to the Word, you're looking to the that's supply. Right. You're looking into the impossible. You're looking from the impossible up into all things. Into the spirit. All th into the spirit. Into the spirit. That's good. I like so, it. So <clears throat> in verse 14, this is what I want Where us to we? look at. In Genesis 22, verse 14, okay. Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Yireh. As it is said to this day, in the mountain of the Lord, it shall be seen. In one translation here, Gloria, it says, Abraham named that place, the Lord shall will provide. Seen. Shall be seen. That's good to use when you're praying. Yeah. It shall be seen. It shall be seen. I believe God <clears throat> for a house. It, it shall, shall be, be seen, seen oh, based Gloria, on the word good. of God. Or I'm believing for a car. Or I'm believing to know what to do with my it future. It shall be seen. It shall be seen. My supernatural provider. I like provider. that, George. Praise Thank God. You. The message says, Abraham named that place God Yire, or God sees to it. That's where we get the saying, mm -hmm. on the mountain of God, he sees to it. Praise God. Because he's the source. Amen. He is it your, he's your supernatural source of supply. Amen. Gloria, let's take it. a look at this second page as we finish up. Again, the moments have ticked away. My it passes <clears> fast. On this person. broadcast. And if you go to the next page of your notes there, this is an exercise of faith that you can do. The Lord God, who is our supernatural provider. Mm -hmm. One of the names of God is provider. So this is what I did. I did a practice of this as I was studying this. Everywhere you see his name, add supernatural provider after it. That's good. This I like that. will renew your mind to God's supernatural provision. Amen. And so what I did, Gloria, is I went to Deuteronomy 28, and I looked at several scriptures there. And in verse 8, it said, now it says, the Lord shall command the blessing upon me. But what I did was I put in parentheses, the Lord my supernatural provider yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. shall command the blessing upon me in my storehouse and in all that I undertake. And he, my supernatural provider, will bless me in the land which the Lord my God, my supernatural provider, yeah. gives to me. That's how we get this down on the inside of us and receive everything that God has for us. In verse 11, I like this one. This is one I leaned on a lot. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 11. And the Lord, my supernatural provider, shall make me have a surplus of prosperity through the fruit of my body and of my livestock and of my ground in the land which the Lord, my supernatural, supernatural provider, provider, has sworn to my fathers to give me. Wow. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. <clears throat> Gloria, why, why don't you read verse 12? Now, Gloria's going to do the exercise right here. 
the Lord, my supernatural, my supernatural provider, provider. shall open to me his good treasury. That's a big treasury. That's a big treasury. His good treasury, the heavens <laughs> to give rain of my land in its season, and to bless all, say all, Jesus, all, all the work of my hands, and I, say I, I, I shall lend to many, say many, many, many nations, but I shall not borrow. I shall not borrow. Now, we've operated that way for yes, quite a long time, and we've lacked nothing. No good thing. We've lacked we have no lacked good thing. No good thing. To God be the glory. He is our supernatural provider. Yes, he he is. is your supernatural He's provider. He's no respecter of persons. Last couple of scriptures here, Psalm 68, 19. Blessed be the Lord, mm -hmm. my supernatural, supernatural provider, provider, who, who daily, daily loads, loads me, me with, with benefits. benefits. Even the God, my supernatural provider of my salvation. Hallelujah. Wow. George, that's awesome. <clears throat> and then here's 2 Corinthians 9, 8, the Amplified Translation. And my like God, it. my supernatural provider is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing come to me in abundance so that I may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need, whatever. be self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support, and furnished in abundance for every, for every good work and charitable donation. Yeah. And the last point that I put down here, our supernatural provider has unusual ways and unlimited avenues of providing that supersede all, all the limitations. natural limitations. Oh, hallelujah. Now go to your good, third page. Good word, Lord. Go to your third page. Okay. Here we go. Here. Word from the Lord through Brother Copeland, November 10th, 2011. Flash, flash. <laughs> he, the Lord said, I have a great storehouse. Much more has been stored up in the storehouse of riches beyond your wildest yeah. dream that I've laid up for you before the foundation of the world. Much more has been Much stored more. up there than the church has ever called for. Ooh, I have I never that. held back on my church, saith the Lord, the God of plenty. I've made it available to you. I put it in my word. Mm -hmm. I gave you promise and stood behind it with the blood, the precious blood of your Savior. But there's been a backwardness in my people about laying hold of the things that I've provided for you. But I will say this, there's a people in the land there is a people around the world. There's a people strong and mighty, growing much stronger and much mightier and more bold to lay hold. More bold to lay hold. And put their claim of faith on the things that I've laid up for you. And it thrills me, saith the Lord, because it's been yours all the time. The circle of supernatural provision. The circle of super... You cannot break the circle oh, yeah, of I supernatural provision. <clears throat> As Gloria said, and I will quote her, she said just moments ago, if you aren't tithing and sowing, you're not living in the supernatural. If you're not tithing and sowing, you're not living in the supernatural. No. No, so you cannot break the circle of supernatural provision. So Gloria starts talking about that song, <clears throat> May the Circle Be Unbroken. Yeah. <laughs> And we looked it up and we decided to rewrite the song. So here's the first part of the song that we have rewritten. Okay, are we ready? You're gonna sing it with me? No, you don't no, have to sing I'm it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do want your favor. To. I'm gonna okay. listen. <clears throat> Here we go. May the circle be unbroken and the blessing yet a flowing <laughs> down from heaven into my heart. Supernatural provision is my part. Hey! Everybody may the circle Hallelujah. be unbroken. <laughs> That's good. That's good, George. That's a good little song, I isn't like it? I like it. I want to awesome. work on that some more. Okay. So we can... <laughs> I believe it. Wow. That's great. And we decided that this first song that you and I have ever written it together. Is, it is. So maybe we could get Kenneth to sing it. Well, don't hold your breath. <laughs> it might happen. <laughs> you never know. You if, never... You, if you got up and sang it and it was so good, he might do it. He might do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I got up and sang it, he'd probably go home and <laughs> get under the chair. But you can sing. Well, all that to say there is a circle of supernatural provision. Yeah. This circle can't be broken. And the way it's broken is when you quit tithing and when you quit sowing. 
you can't sit around and talk about and you quit supernatural believing. provision <clears throat> and not not engage in the very foundation of supernatural it. provision. That brings it, yes. You can't engage in what brings it into your life. Tithing is a supernatural act that produces supernatural That's results. True. That's right. Sowing is a supernatural act that produces supernatural results. That's right. And giving, giving is, a, is a supernatural act. If we look here at Galatians 6, take a look at that. Galatians 6 and verses 7 and 8 in the Amplified, it says, For whatever a man sows, that and that only will he reap. Mm -hmm. For he who sows to his flesh, his lower nature, sensually, will from the flesh reap decay, <laughs> decay and ruin and destruction. But he who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit <clears throat> reap eternal life. Tithing and sowing are supernatural acts. That's right. Those are supernatural acts. They are not, tithing is not a natural thing. It's a supernatural thing. We use money to, to give in our tithing, yet tithing is done with words. We speak yep. over that tithe. Mm -hmm. We believe God over That's that right. tithe. And that tithe does something. It, it opens the windows of heaven and it allows the blessing to be poured out. <clears throat> the supernatural act of tithing and sowing will result in a supernatural harvest right. of supernatural provision in spite of economic conditions. Mm. That's what you need to have going for That's you. That's what you have to have going for you. Get out of the natural into the supernatural. Yes. Glory Yes, to God. yes. And the harvest is always greater when you're dealing in the supernatural realm. Tithing results in the open windows of heaven. Sowing results in the hundredfold return. Now take a look here at the bottom of your page, Gloria. <clears throat> I included this word from the Lord through oh, Brother Caps. I remember this. And I want to read down through it until we get to the very last line. Okay. It says, financial inversion will increase in these days. For you see, it is my desire to move in the realm of your financial prosperity. Mm, good. But release me, saith the Lord. Ah. Release me that I may come in in your behalf and move in your behalf. As men walk in my word, so shall they walk in the ways of the Lord. Oh yes, there will be some who say yes, but God's ways are higher, surely higher than our ways, and we can't walk in those ways. It is true that the ways of God are higher. <clears throat> they are higher than your ways as the heavens are above mm -hmm. the earth. Mm -hmm. But I'll teach you to walk in my, my ways. Or you could say there, I'll teach you to walk in my higher ways. Yeah. I never did say you couldn't walk in my ways. Now learn to walk in it. Learn to give. So shall the inversion of the financial system revert, and so shall it be that the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the world, and there shall be no lack in the kingdom. Ooh, now look at that very last no line, right. Gloria. <clears throat> Those that give shall walk in the ways of oh, the supernatural. Yeah. We receive that, Lord, and we thank you for it. <clears throat> Those that give shall God. walk in the ways of the supernatural. The circle of blessing will not be broken. The circle it'll of blessing will provide. not be broken. It will it'll manifest. It'll manifest yeah. in supernatural provision. It'll, it will manifest if we, are <clears throat> if we are faithful tithers. And I know that you and Kenneth are faithful tithers. Terry and I are faithful tithers. We tithe on everything because we want, and we'll move over into this as we look over at Malachi chapter 3. Turn to Malachi chapter 3. We are, we're talking today about the connection to supernatural provision that your tithing and your sowing has. Mm. Gloria, there are so many people that fight tithing. I know. They're, they look for every way. They're fighting their abundance. They're fighting their abundance. Hmm. And they're looking for every way that they can to get out of it, to avoid it and to not do it. I'm looking for every way to be involved in it. Amen. Amen. Because I know, according to Malachi chapter 3, <clears throat> that if we bring, in verse 10, if we bring the tithes into the storehouse for meat in his house, 
Prove me now herewith, saith the Lord, if I will not open the windows, yeah. or the windows there in the Hebrew is floodgates. Floodgates, oh good. If I'll not open the floodgates of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it all. And I'll rebuke the devourer for your sake. He'll not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine Praise cast her God. fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for you shall be a delightsome land, says the Lord of hosts. Pour you out a blessing. In the margin it says empty. Empty. Oh, no mm. limit. Just empty. Wow. Empty. empty you a blessing. Empty out that There's blessing. There's no limit. Honestly. There's no limit. No limit. No limit. Glory There's no God. limit. I like that, George. That's Praise good. God. There's no limit but to that. But then look at 13 in Malachi. <clears throat> yeah. Your words have been stout against me, uh -oh. saith the Lord. You mm. got to have the right words. That's right. You got to stay positive. That's right. And expect, believe God, That's expect right. for these things to happen. Expect them to happen. Yeah. I expect that when we give our tithe, I'm expecting supernatural provision. I'm expecting yeah, the windows of heaven yeah. to be open, the floodgates right. pouring out of heaven's treasury upon my life. Why? Because he said it. That's right. He said it. Expecting, expecting. It's there. There's a scripture in Genesis 14 that talks about um, Abraham tithing, or Abram, as he was called then. And it says, after he tithed, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision saying, fear not, Abram, I am your shield, your abundant compensation, and your reward shall be exceedingly great. Oh, I like it. I take that. I receive that. I receive that as well. That was the result of tithing. He had offered his sacrifice. Yeah. God gave him a good word. He, he tithed and the word of the Lord came to him. People don't realize that when they tithe, they can have the word of the Lord come to them. Mm -hmm. You can be in the midst of tithing, the tithe. And Terry and I spend time at home together praying over our tithe. We got that from you and Kenna. The two of you spend That's time right. together praying over the tithe before you, you give. Mm -hmm. We do the same thing now. We right. pray over that tithe. Worship the Lord. And we do. We worship the Lord with it. And there have been times just like Abram, when we've been in the midst of worshiping the Lord with our tithe, that we will have a word from the Lord. I mean, the, the, yeah. the heavens open up. Yeah. And that provision pours out, and that provision comes sometimes in the form of a word from the Lord, direction that we need to have. So he said, I am your shield, your abundant compensation, and your reward shall be exceedingly great. That's Genesis 15:1. I like what Leroy Thompson said one time about that scripture. He did some research on that. The one that, that Abram, that God said, I'm your exceeding great reward. And, and Leroy Thompson said that the research that he did said, I am your rapidly increasing money supplier. Oh boy, I like that. I'm your rapidly increasing money supplier. Yeah. So Terry and I come before the Hallelujah. Lord as a tither in the name of a tither, expecting supernatural provision, expecting God, our supernatural provider, who is our rapidly increasing money supplier. Amen. And to us, awesome. it's happened over and over and over again. The supply, the supernatural provision that God has for us is astounding. And I want to give a short testimony here about Kenneth Copeland Ministries. All and, right. and you'll remember this. We all remember it that we're here at that time in 1984. In 1984, the ministry was $1 million behind. Now, by the time I became because executive... Because of television bills. Right, television and primarily. so forth. Now, a few years later in 1989, uh, we had a $10 million deficit. But I believe, and that's because of the daily broadcast that we went on, but I believe that what happened in 1984 paved the way for supernatural provision for our ministry in 1990. When we crossed over that $10 million deficit, we, let me back up. I'm ahead of the story. <clears throat> Got to put it in its okay. chronological Get it order. Straight. Get it straight. Okay. 
So KCM in 1984, 83, was experiencing a $1 million deficit. So Brother Copeland went to the prayer cabin in January of 1984 to pray. Mm -hmm. And he went before the Lord and he said, Lord, we're a million dollars behind. We need, we need a million dollars. And the Lord said to him, and I have it quoted, um, the answer, he prayed, the answer came. The Lord said, tithe KCM's income, 10% off the top. And this information that I got, Gloria, I have in my files at home a letter that you wrote the partners in 1980, really? the end of 1984, sharing this very thing. That's where I got my information from. And what you said was it was not the answer he was expecting, but <laughs> <laughs> he willingly obeyed and the financial situation yeah. turned around. The supernatural act of tithing paved the way and produced supernatural provision for Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Now, we've never been that situation since, have we? Were well, we? we have, and it was a few years after that. I was the executive director in 1980, 1989, and during that year, that was the year that we went on daily television. Mm -hmm. And Another big step of faith. Oh, my goodness. It was a big step of faith, and I was TV sitting... TV six days a week. I was sitting in my office one evening, and I was with my calculator figuring some things up, and I looked at it, and I went, we're, we're behind a couple of months in our TV bill, and if we keep going in this direction, it's going to escalate more and more. And we reached, by the end of 1989, $10 million deficit. We were several months behind in television. It's not good to be several months behind no, no, in no. anything, let no. alone television. But we used our faith. We believed God. We would gather the staff together. We would worship the Lord. And one thing that we did not quit doing then was we did not quit tithing. Oh, no. 1984, we began tithing and kept tithing. 1984, tithing, uh, income, of the income of the ministry and kept tithing. And 1984, five, six, seven, eight. 1989 is when we hit that $10 million deficit, but we, we kept tithing all the way through. Even through, I can remember times, Gloria, when, when we were building the administrative building here and had to shut it down for a while because of the finances. We did not quit tithing. Paying cash. Did yes, not we quit were. tithing. And all through this, this is a word from the Lord for you. All through whatever you're going through, don't stop tithing. No, 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 no. That is the access to the supernatural provision That's and right. the wisdom that God needs to get to you in order to get out of the situation that you're in right now. Do not shut off the blessing That's in your right. life by quitting your tithing. We and never stop tithing. You never stop tithing. And we never failed to get out of the situation. Never failed. So when we reach the $10 million deficit, in 1990, we were believing God. Nobody said it was fun. No, but we, <laughs> we, Gloria, we kept tithing all the way yeah. through that. We did not stop. Oh. When you think you can take that money and use it to apply to something else, don't do don't that. Do it. That belongs to God. That's His. He wants to take that and do something supernatural with it in your life Praise to God. get you out of the situation you're in. We didn't quit tithing. And in January... When you look at it in the natural, when you look at it in the earthly realm, it was going to take us almost two years to get out of that. But God. But God. But the supernatural provider. By, by May of that year, our accounts payable were paid in full. And on July the 10th, 1990, at nine o'clock in the, in the morning, your sister Jan brought me a check to pay off the final bill of the television. Praise On that God. day, that deficit was over. Hallelujah. That was supernatural. So we got out of it in how many months? This six months. Six months. Within, within the time we hit the 10 million, it was six months, six months. And we didn't tell people about no. it. Didn't no, raise we didn't announce it. We didn't raise money. We didn't do anything God except provided. use our faith and we kept on giving. 
we kept on giving. We kept on giving. When you reach that place in your life where you're finding yourself in that financial difficult place, you start looking for places to give. You start looking, you start looking at your tithe and you hold it before the Lord and say, Lord, this is my tithe. You are doing something with this. We are rebuking the devourer together. He is not stealing from us. Gloria, this is a supernatural act that produces supernatural results. And it is the very foundation of what we do to produce the supernatural in our lives. Praise God. We've proved it out for a long time. Over and over again. Now, turn quickly to 2 Corinthians chapter 9. That is, that is tithing. You can't break the circle. Mm -mm. Do not break the cycle of giving and tithing because you'll shut down the supernatural. You can't quit. Oh, you can't no. quit. You can't do that. Give it, God a place to work. In 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 8, Amplified, remember this, he who sows sparingly and grudgingly will also reap sparingly and grudgingly. He who sows generously that blessings may come to someone will also reap generously and with blessings. Let each one give as he has made up his own mind, purposed in his heart, not reluctantly or sorrowfully or under compulsion, for God loves, he takes pleasure in, he prizes above other things and is unwilling to abandon or do without a cheerful, joyous, prompt to do it giver whose heart is in his giving. And God is able to make all grace Every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance so that you may always, always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be, self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support and furnished in abundance for every good work yeah. and charitable donation. Now, we've walked in a miracle for what? How many years have we been doing this? It's 47 we've years. We've walked in a miracle for 47 years and God always has brought it to pass. Glory to God, the answer. Hallelujah. Every time. Sometime I'm going to read you my margin. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we got time. We need, we need to show that, Carlene. We'll show that on the, on the broadcast. This is a big page here. here here's one last example of the supernatural act of giving. Isaac, they were in a famine situation in Genesis chapter 26. There was a great famine in the land. It was dried up. They were not producing crops. That's right. But Isaac, in Genesis 26, 12, and 13, he planted crops in the land, and the same year he reaped a hundredfold because the mm -hmm. Lord blessed him. Mm -hmm. And then it said the man became rich, and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. Very wealthy. So really, Gloria, to Not some... Not just wealthy. Very, very wealthy. Very wealthy. He was, he was reaping harvest when no one else was. That's supernatural. That is supernatural harvest. That's supernatural provision. So, Amen. we began the broadcast today. Don't break the supernatural circle of don't blessing. Break the, don't, may the don't circle break it. be unbroken. May the circle Hallelujah. be unbroken. Keep tithing, yeah. keep sowing, don't and quit. keep reaping supernatural harvest. Terry and I have been talking about the supernatural at home. We speak about it all the time. Supernatural health, supernatural wealth, yeah. supernatural favor, I supernatural mean, deliverance, supernatural that's protection. We should be walking. We need, we need from heaven everything that heaven has to offer, which is above, over, and beyond the natural realm of the earth. How does the Bible describe that? Days of heaven? Days of heaven on earth. That's earth. it. That's the way we that's ought to be it. walking. And, and God supplies all of our need according yeah. to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That's the supernatural. It is. That's supernatural provision. Believing God and receiving from places we never thought possible before. Right. People limit themselves to how God can provide and how God Looking can supply. Looking at their situation. Looking at their and own. Their, what they've got going. It's supernatural provision, the whole idea of this, this miraculous, extraordinary provision of God will unfix a That's fixed right. income. Oh yeah, absolutely. It will bring people into a place of freedom, financial freedom in their lives. And I'll quote Bill Winston here. He said, the supernatural takes us past the impossible, mm -hmm. through the unbelievable, mm. into the ridiculous. <laughs> As God <laughs> is bringing you into this supernatural, He's bringing you into a place where the supernatural is no longer an option, but it's going to be a requirement. 
That's what we need to make it. That's right. That's what we are going to need to make it in these times, famine or no famine, economy, whatever direction it's going, job market, supernatural provision from the supernatural provider sets us in a place of everything completely being met and supplied That's right. to the overflowing point, to the point where you're shouting, it's too much. Yeah. It's just, I, I like what you said about into the ridiculous. You know, people that don't appreciate preachers, <laughs> yeah. ministers, <laughs> yeah. and Christians even, that, that uh, are born again, believe in God. Sure. And they'll, they'll see somebody be blessed. They might build a house that's bigger than what somebody else thinks they ought to have. And they'll say, that's, that's just ridiculous. That's just yeah, ridiculous. that's ridiculous. Or buy, a, you know, a good car or an airplane or a rocket ship if they want it. <laughs> and people say, that's just ridiculous. He didn't need that rocket ship. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, that's that's the blessing that they're yeah. calling ridiculous, you know, that's right. whatever it is, that's the right. increase. That's right. And it doesn't matter on a social status where you are. Mm -mm. doesn't matter oh, what no. neighborhood that you're in. God will change the neighborhood. God will move you out of the neighborhood. God will provide you with everything that you need because He is a generous, loving Father. That's right. And we have to renew our minds and renew our faith. Right. The word from the Lord that Brother Copeland gave a few years ago, 2005, talking about you must rejoice and renew your faith in the supernatural. That's right. That's right. And that supernatural breaks all limitations, it does. pushes there the no walls. Limitations. There's no There are no limitations with that. So that's what we're talking about, and that is what we are renewing our minds in. And these notes that we're teaching on, they're available to you. Go to kcm.org, go to the picture of Glory and Me, click onto that. You can go right to those notes. You can print them out, download them. Uh, so far, we've had... We've had almost 400,000 since you, since you and I have started this. That's awesome. Back in 2010, 400,000 downloads of those notes, people printing them out, using them, sharing them. Let's ask them to write us and tell uh, us your testimony. Thank you. I want your testimony of supernatural yeah. provision. I had several of them over here. Here's one. Here's one, Gloria. This is from Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, which is, if you prosper in Lagos, oh you are prospering. Oh, my goodness. Prosper you are Lagos. prospering. This, this particular person said, I've studied your 40 days of prosperity. Praise God. The 21, days God, 21 ways God supplies, the blessing of Abraham. These are all teachings that you and I have done. And he said, my company just won a contract of $987,000. And we've Jesus. been paid over half a million dollars to date. I'm telling you, in Lagos, that's like 50 million over here. That's years. huge. Oh, it is. Isn't that great? That's that gives huge. me goosebumps. That's huge. Thank you, Lord, for blessing him. So we want your testimonies. Yeah. Tell us what God is doing in your life mm -hmm. that that reaches the ridiculous. I mean, oh, just reaches yeah. reaches beyond what you've ever blessing, known blessing, or heard blessing. or seen because, Gloria, we are... We are believing with them right now That's right. for the supernatural. Amen. I'm believing for supernatural houses, cars, yeah. finances, clothes, whatever is needful in your life, God will supply it for you. Now, people think, you know, natural people that don't listen and believe the word, they'll, they might hear what we say and think, well, that's easy for them. They, they've got this, they've got that. Listen, we started out with an old car and a little tacky rent house and, uh, and uh, early Goodwill furniture. Terry and I, we were we the same. We began to hear the word and it changed everything. We were the we same way. I, I took her, I took Terry, uh, this was, I think it was right after we got married. I took her out for dinner one night and we went to a place, you might remember this, over near Dallas called Southern Kitchen. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I took her to Southern Kitchen and we had just enough money, barely, for a tip. <laughs> I was really concerned. <laughs> I was really concerned. We took my parents out to dinner at Cattleman's, you know, over there in, on, off of Main Street. This is after we got married. My parents came to visit us. I was taking them to dinner. I was not quite sure if I was going to have the money to pay for our dinner. It was that thin. Yeah. And I was so relieved that night that my dad said, let me get dinner, George. I went, okay, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> right. You must not have had enough. I didn't, I didn't have enough <laughs> to pay Lord for that meal. But those times have changed. Oh, man. 
You can those, go eat anywhere you want. Those to. days are over <laughs> forever because of we've learned blessing. how to walk in the supernatural. In the blessing. In the That's blessing, it. in the blessing of Abraham. We've learned how to do that. And we walked, you know, we we knew how to walk under the curse. Yeah. Borrowed money <laughs> yeah. and bills you couldn't pay yeah. and all that. But then we learned how to walk in the blessing. That's right. Everything changed. Everything changes. Everything changed. Everything changes. And it'll changes. work for anybody. That's They'll right. They'll do it. That's right. Way to so, go. what we're going to do today and tomorrow, we're going to spend some time in the Old Testament. And we're going to look oh, at Old Testament good. examples of supernatural provision. We really, really need to pay attention to what they were doing because we should be expecting so much more. That's true. Of what's we're going on. We're under a now. better covenant. We're under a better That's covenant true. with better promises. And so if they can do it in the Old Testament, we can certainly do it now, right here and right now. So let's take a look at a few of these, Gloria. Genesis okay. 26, we'll start there. Uh, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, but it bears repeating. Um, in Genesis 26, 1, there was a famine in the land. And hard it was, times were all. It was hard times, hard times. Mm -hmm. and, and Isaac was getting ready to leave when the Lord said, stay. Stay in this land. He said in verse 3, sojourn. Common sense probably said to him to leave. But yeah. the Lord said, stay. Stay. Because he well, wanted to that's do. That's where the blessing was he, for him. The blessing was right there for him. That's why we have to listen to that's the right. Spirit that's of God. Right. Verse 3, sojourn in this land and I will be with you. I will bless you. Um, Mm. I will bless you. Bless For unto you and unto your seed I will give these countries and I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham thy father. So he told him to stay in that country. Listen, it does not matter what is going on in your city right now. It doesn't it's matter where the economy country. is. You are, <laughs> Gloria, I just wrote an article for the Believer's Voice of Victory um, magazine which will appear in January and I called it the untouchables. Oh good, I like it. Called it the untouchables and, and we, are, we are protected in the household of faith. Amen. From all this stuff that's going on around us, all of the things that the are happening. The blessing protects us. The blessing surrounds We're us and protects us. We're not under the us. curse anymore. And, and Isaac was going into this situation with that blessing. And I wanted us to see. There is a blessing wall. Yeah that cannot be scaled, it can't be knocked down. It can't we'll, be scaled. We'll stay with it. That's now right. we can tear it down ourselves with unbelief, right. doubt, and bad words, but there is a blessing wall that's available to believers yes. in Christ Jesus that yes. cannot be torn down. And it keeps No us, matter what's happening out here in the natural It realm. keeps us protected from all that is going on out there. That's Supernatural right. protection That's is right. available to it, us. You, you have to be a tither yes. and a sower, sower. Mm -hmm. and believe the Word of God. To believe the Word of God, right. you've got to put it in your eyes and your ears and get it in your heart where it talks to you. That's it. And just do what That's God it. says. That's it. Hallelujah. Well, Isaac, Isaac obeyed God. And it says in verse 12, Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very now, great. Now what made him great? The blessing. The blessing did, yes. Until he became very, very great. When God says very great, it is very great. Very, yeah. It is big. It's big. <laughs> Glory it's to God. It's huge. It's huge. Hallelujah. He had possessions of flocks, possessions of herds, a great store of servants, and it says the Philistines envied him. And the point that no, I just... They did. They probably said, he doesn't need all that. He yeah, doesn't need all those flocks. So. <laughs> he doesn't need all those people working for him. But you know, eventually they recognized that blessing on him. Look over there in verse 28. The, these these, these mm -hmm. guys came to him and they said, We saw certainly that the Lord was they with you. They saw it. <clears throat> and we said, Let there be now an oath between us, even between us and thee, and let us make a covenant with you. And they said, verse 29 says, You are blessed of the Lord. We admit that you are blessed. That's a great scripture in 28. They saw the blessing. <clears throat> they saw the blessing. And it was so great that they knew only God could do it. Only God. They saw the blessing. Isaac was walking in the supernatural. He was walking in a place where it was, it was a bad economy around him, 
but he was the only one that was flourishing. Now, if you're doing it right, the blessing can be seen. Yes. It's not hidden. It can be seen. It's it, not. It can be, you know, it's in this not. day, the, you can see, and that day, they could see the blessing. That's they right. They could see the increase. That's right. What did they have then? They had lots of herds and flocks. What do we have? Well, we have all kind of things. Mm -hmm. Land, mm -hmm. houses, whatever. Mm -hmm. But the blessing can be seen. The blessing can Hallelujah. be seen. Hallelujah. And there's no limit to it. Wow. Glory to God. Wow. I was in um, South Africa here recently, and I had the opportunity to have lunch with some partners of ours over there. They live in a beautiful, debt-free, palatial home Africa. in a, a resort area of Johannesburg. And the Lord has exceedingly blessed them. And the, the, the man, the husband, shared with me what he grew up in. And he was, he was in abject poverty when he grew up. He was in, out in oh, the country. They have. He didn't own a pair of shoes until he was a teenager. I mean, this is how bad it was. Mm. And the Lord, the, the Lord, the blessing was on him to such a degree. And now he and his wife are flourishing. They're Praise flourishing. God. Isn't that great? In that nation. On the word of God. On the word of God. And God is no respecter of persons. He'll do that for anyone in South Africa. Yeah. He'll do that for anyone in Australia. He'll do that for anyone in England. He'll do that for anyone in the United States who will believe his word, That's stand true. on it, walk out the blessing, and believe that God has supernatural provision available for them. That's true. That's right. And that's what happened to Isaac. God can make things come to pass anywhere. That's right. Glory to That God. same hundredfold return. I was taught by, by one Gloria Copeland about the hundredfold <laughs> return in 1978, and I've never forgotten it. No, it worked. The hundredfold return is working for me all the time. All the time. That's Amen. what I say. That's right. That that's, that's from Gloria's return. book, God's Will is Prosperity. You need to get it. Hallelujah. The hundredfold return is working in spite of what's going on. It's, not, it's never even affected. No. The hundredfold return... No. And your increase supernaturally is never affected by what the government does, what That's people right. do, what times you're living in, what the stock market does. That's living in the realm of God's superabundance. In the realm of the miraculous. The miraculous. Hallelujah. And that's what happened to Isaac there. And that same thing can happen to us. This was a supernatural yield, hundredfold. I did some study about this and mm -hmm. found out that even, even in the most fertile areas of Israel, the harvest was no greater than 25 or to 50 fold. That's interesting. This is a famine. You write that down for me, so a famine. not right now, but I want to have that. That's good. Is that that's, in our that's notes? That's on your notes. Yes. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. That's, that is the blessing, miraculous and supernatural. Increase, increase, increase. I'm living in the supernatural. Me too. Amen. Man, Let's, I remember living in the natural. It was a pit. <laughs> yes, that was <laughs> so to speak. That was, that was pretty, <laughs> such, such an oppression, such, and people. And you didn't know what to do. No, no, that's right. Try to find a good job. Try to do this. Try to, I mean, we, when we first went to Tulsa, we had just what we had, yeah. cash, what we had cash. Yeah. And uh, I remember going to the grocery store, and I'd get what I thought I could pay for. And then I would pray in tongues and pray in my <laughs> spirit and pray that when I got up there, I didn't add it up as I went. Yeah. I didn't have those little yeah. calculators yeah. in, you know, yeah. so often. I would believe, God, I could pay for what I had in my basket. And I could. I never had to put anything back. But uh, I, I, I believe God, and uh, now, I, you know, when I go to the, if I were to go to the grocery store, I right. wouldn't, it right. wouldn't be a challenge to me to have to <laughs> you wouldn't be God yeah. to pay for it. Yeah, and there are some people out there right now that that is a strain, yeah. a strain in their lives, and God can get you out of that. That's right. If you just believe His Word. Start where you are. Start where you are. No matter where you are, if you'll start. Start right where around. you are. We're with you. We're believing with you. We're agreeing with you that you are walking in that supernatural provision that God has for you. In the Amen. same way that he provided for Isaac, he's providing for you. If you're a tither, a sower, then you call in that harvest in the name of Amen. Jesus. Right. You call in the supernatural harvest into your life. That's right. We never increased really until we started tithing faithfully. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, mm -hmm. that puts you in a place that puts you in where the God, you, God owes you something. Yeah. How come? Because he said he'd give it to yeah. you. Yeah. He said, when does the heaven be open? And, and the blessing would be on the tither and all kind of good words like That's that. That's right. So it's really right. like God owes you something. You say, well, I don't think you should say that. Well, I don't care. If he said it, you, he'd give it to you. If you'd do so-and-so, then he's going to give it to you. He's going to give it to you. He always pays his Always, owes. <laughs> always, always. And that we said yesterday, that's a supernatural act. Tithing is a supernatural is. act. We that never did anything uh, financially until we became tithers. Yeah. And when we became faithful tithers, it looked like we needed the money more than God did. Well, and we did it anyway. Isaac was a tither. I know that. How do I know that? Because Abraham taught his children yep. well. That's right. And Abraham was a tither. That's right. Isaac was a tither. Praise So God. it works. And they were blessed. It works. And I'm a tither. Let's take a look at another one here. Um, over in Exodus chapter 16. In, um, let's see, what am I looking at here? Exodus 16 and verse um, 11. It says, And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, I have heard the murmuring of the children of Israel. Speak to them, saying, In the evening you shall eat flesh. In the morning you shall be filled with bread and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. And it came to pass that at even, even the quails came up and covered the camp, mm -hmm. and in the morning the dew lay round about the host. And when the dew that lay was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness, there lay a small round thing, as small as the hoarfrost on the thing. ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, It is manna. Which said, what is it? What is it? That's what manna means. <laughs> what is what this? Is it? What is this? For they wist not that it was. And Moses said to them, this is the bread which the Lord has given to you to eat. Praise Gloria, God. that was supernatural provision in the wilderness. That's right. That is God providing. It was so supernatural that they didn't know what, what it was. They didn't know what it was. They couldn't identify it. And... Uh, <laughs> I'll read this to you. Psalm 78, 23. He commanded the skies to open. He opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna for them to eat. He gave them bread for he from heaven. They, they ate the food of angels. Mm. God gave them all they could hold. He released the east wind of the heavens and guided the south wind awesome. by his mighty power. He rained down meat thick as dust, birds as plentiful as the sand on the seashore. He caused the birds to fall within their camp and all around their tents. The people ate they their fill. Ate he their gave fill. them what they had craved. And, and then it went down. I read this in Deuteronomy 29. I've led you 40 years in the wilderness. Your clothes have not worn out upon you and your sandals have not worn off your feet. That's supernatural. That is, that is supernatural. Now, Gloria, we don't have time today to go through all of these, but I mean, we see here that Elijah was fed by the ravens. We saw here that the, the uh, prophet went to the woman and said, make me a cake first. And she did, and she had a continual supply of flour and oil, and she ate a full year. That's supernatural. I mean, that is super. Well, that prophet could have been uh, put down over that. Yeah. Give me your first. Yeah, he could. <laughs> That's Make right. me one. He could, have made, he could have made the front page but of the, the news. The this, this point here, when he was fed by the ravens, I thought this was fascinating. Um, he, he said, the Lord says, I've commanded the ravens to feed you. And I read a commentary where it says, those provisions were ready prepared, the bread made and baked, and the fish boiled, broiled, or roasted. I never read that. That's, that's from an exposition of the Old Testament. Is that right? I don't know. So we doubt see, it, we see. Oh, it was dinner. <laughs> it was, <laughs> hey. <laughs> and, and I just have, I've Didn't got to. It have to be cooked. It's supernatural. Gloria, our children are walking in the supernatural. I got to tell you this. T today, as we're taping this today, Eileen is four years old. She turned four years old. Aubrey's oldest daughter, Aubrey and Cody's oldest daughter, turned four years old. And she. You know, you can ask for all kinds of parties. What kind of a party do you want? And you can think of all the different Mickey Mouse or whatever parties. Do you know what she asked for? What? And you know what she's getting tonight? What? A Moses party. A Moses party. She asked for a Moses party. Did you know what a Moses party was? Well, no, but we've, we've, we have figured out what a Moses party is. <laughs> it's a baby, George. It's You're going to have to have a baby. <laughs> It's a Moses party. And the funny thing was that Aubrey is preparing the popcorn for the party, and she looked up manna, and there's a picture of what, what 
manna would look like, and it looks like popcorn on the ground. Is that right? So Eileen has asked for a, a Moses party. I mean, the That's supernatural so working on our children. We are walking in the realm of the miraculous. We are. And we're pressing into it more and more and more. That. that has been my quest. That I've been working on this now for, for some time, but really intently here recently to see the supernatural, teach that to our congregation, to help them walk in supernatural provision, mm -hmm. supernatural healing, supernatural deliverance, supernatural protection, yes, supernatural favor. It belongs to it, us. It does belong to us, and we are to live differently here We're on this earth. Supernatural people. Because as Jesus is, yeah, that's right, what you just said, we are supernatural people. We're supernatural Amen. people. That's right. Because as Jesus is, so, so are, are we in, in this, this world. world. This world. That's scripture. That's right. That's good. That's right. And I've been that's pressing right. into I this, like seeing God as my supernatural provider how He is supplying for everything that we need, to see the, the demonstrations of supernatural provision come alive Amen. in our lives, in your life, in the life of our church, to see God moving in such a way that He wants to, He desires to, and supernatural provision. You know, we looked at this before about the word super being above, over, higher, a higher realm. It's a higher place that we have to walk in. The natural is limited to the earthly realm, but the supernatural goes up and over all of that. The natural is limited to natural ways. To natural ways. But the the natural, natural is limited to natural ways. Is unlimited in supernatural ways. Unlimited in supernatural ways. I know that the scribes are writing that down right now in the studio. Hallelujah. <laughs> that, that, that is, is, that is so like important. That. That's, mm -hmm. that's excellent, Gloria. That's excellent. We think too, even, even those of us that know things, we, we let natural get in our way sometimes. We do. So we, let's don't do we that do. anymore, George. We've got to break <laughs> through. No, let's not. <laughs> We've got to break through yeah. the limitations and, and get beyond the, the limited thinking that we've had mm -hmm. and get our minds renewed get to this. Get beyond the natural. Get beyond the natural. Super, the supernatural super. provision is an unlimited and overwhelming supply that comes from above. Yeah. It's the kind of provision that is available to every believer especially when the situation or the job market or the paycheck or the economy or others are saying, there's no way to meet that need. It's humanly impossible. It is humanly impossible. But that's why it takes the supernatural. That's right. That's good. That's why it? it takes the supernatural Hallelujah. to unfix a fixed income. That's why it takes yeah. the supernatural to be able to move into a debt-free home. That's why it takes the supernatural to become debt-free. Well, now, how did, we, how did we get to where we could get results in finances. We went after it. We went after it. We confessed it. it. We believed yes. we were Yes, we did. It. We said it. We there was said an aggressiveness. It. We expected it. Yes. Now we need to do that in the supernatural. We've got to do that with the supernatural. They're for us. God's people have always had supernatural manifestations. Yes. Yes. So let's get on the ball, George. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. What we did yesterday and what we're doing today is we're just looking at some examples of Old Testament supernatural provision. And yesterday we covered a couple of areas. We weren't able to cover it all because there's so much. Oh but my, yes. the notes are available to you online. Click to the picture of Glory and Me on the KCM website and it'll take you over to where the, the uh, notes are, the outlines are, and you can print them out. They're absolutely free. You can make copies, share them, study them, study. go over them, and, and we want your supernatural provision testimonies. Please yeah. send oh, those to Oh, yes, us. that would be We cool. want to know the unusual and unlimited ways that God is supplying Please for send you. send those to us. We must have those because they're encouraging to us as we read them. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to be showing next week uh, a story about a prison minister who goes into prisons with our teaching outlines. Right and he God. teaches those that are in prison Good. about prosperity. About and, prosperity. And he's going to be sharing on the broadcast and a testimony several wow. instances of how prisoners, guys who are making $11 a month in prison, God is prospering them. One, of them, one of them has land that struck oil. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Isn't that good? And he's been teaching them about how to prosper. So even, point being, even oh, in prison. No matter the circumstances. No matter the circumstances, even in a prison situation, you can prosper. And Gloria, if they experienced supernatural prosperity in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. we should certainly be experiencing supernatural prosperity in the New. Mm -hmm. We should be it walking. It doesn't in. matter where you start. It doesn't matter. I, I mean, we can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It beginnings. Uh huh. Beginnings. Mm -hmm. Okay, First Kings 19. We'll take a look at a couple of these. Good. The ones that we That's don't great. cover. Get the notes. You can study it out for yourself. First Kings 19, uh, four through eight. We're talking about supernatural sustenance, food that sustained Elijah. We find here in verse four. Um, but he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, came and sat down under a juniper tree. He requested for himself that he might die. We were talking about that before the, the, the broadcast today, that he had a hard day. Yeah, it was a rough day. Mm -hmm. That he might die. And he said, it's enough now. Oh, Lord, take away my life, for I'm not better than my father's. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, an angel touched him and said to him, arise and eat. And he looked and behold, there was a cake baked on the coals and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him, says, arise and eat because the journey is too great for you. He arose and he ate and he drank and went in the strength of that meat 40 days and 40 nights unto Herob, the Mount of God. Gloria, what we just saw here is supernatural. Are you telling me he didn't, he didn't eat for 40 days? He didn't eat days, for 40 days. But he had strength. He had strength. Glory to God. He had strength. Amen. <laughs> and and this, <laughs> this whole picture is a picture of the supernatural mm -hmm. act of God. He didn't have anything to eat. There was nothing there. So the angel woke him up and said, look, there's food for you to eat. And then... He, had, he was sustained 40 days and 40 nights on a meal that he One ate. One meal? One meal. Angel food? Angel food. Not angel food cake, but angel food. No, angel food. food. Angel food. Wow. And uh, if you look here on your outline, here it's A, number three, over on the outline. Mm -hmm. We were talking uh, yesterday about this exposition of the Old Testament, John Gill's exposition. Rick Renner recommended this to me. Now listen to what he says about this. All this while he had no other sustenance than what he had taken under the juniper tree from whence he set out, which must be supernatural. For it is said, a man cannot live without food beyond seven days. For food, either staying in his stomach all this while or however in the nutritive value of it is, by which he was supported and held out until he came to Herod. So that is a supernatural act there of, of food being provided and just supernatural strength. He was operating on that. That's available to us. Praise that's God. the kind of supernatural Thank that's available you, to you and to me. Let's turn to 2 Kings chapter 4. 2 Ching, King, Kings, King, Kings, Ching, Kings Ching. Cap, chapter 4. <laughs> and we're looking here. Um, we're familiar with this particular account. Um, there was a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elijah saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. For you know that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be the bondmen. And Elisha said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? And she said, Thine handmaid has not anything in the house except a pot of oil. And he said, Go borrow thee vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when you come in, you shall shut your door upon you and upon the sons and shall pour out unto all those vessels and you shall set aside that which is full. She went from him, shut the door upon her and upon her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full and she said to her son, bring me yet a vessel. He said to her, there is not a vessel more and the oil stopped. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said to her, Go, sell the oil, 
pay your debt and live you and your children of the rest. Praise this God. was a supernatural act that took place. She took all that she had in her house, which was not much. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the prophet told her to borrow these vessels and began to pour out of the oil. And the pour, the oil just kept pouring and it kept pouring and it kept pouring and it kept pouring. Praise God. There was, there was no end to it until they came to the end of the pots that they had. And the thing about this, Gloria, is that she had enough money left over from that. Think about this. She was a woman who had nothing. The creditors were coming to her to take away her sons. And the prophet came and had her take what little she had and begin to pour. And that was a supernatural act. That was act. a move of faith, wasn't that it? That was a move of faith. And she and had enough. The prophet they, they, people might have said, had they known, that prophet took her last crumb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And didn't, didn't do that, but multiplied that. She had enough money to pay off the creditor, to save her children, and to live the rest of her life. You know, I life. never had noticed that, the rest of her life. The rest of her life. Glory to God. She lived. That, that was, Off the whole sale. if you will, that was a, that her husband worked as one of the sons of the prophets for Elijah. Isn't he was important to Elijah. And if you will, you could, you could really call this a retirement program. He set her up for life. He set her up for Praise life. Praise God. I never had noticed that. I got to mark that. That was a supernatural act. Second Kings 4. And verse seven, go sell the oil, pay all the debt and live you and your children from the rest. Second Kings chapter. Chapter four, four verse I'm seven. Wrong chapter. Okay, verse yeah. seven. And live off of the rest. Oh, she was man. she was set for life, Gloria. That was a supernatural act. She avoided bankruptcy. She avoided bankruptcy. In the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to those of you right now that legally are facing bankruptcy. And we are declaring the word of the Lord over you for supernatural provision to keep you from having to go into that yes. bankruptcy situation. Amen. 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 We are declaring that. Father, I declare Lord. that we, we over our partners that. and our friends in the name of Jesus, yes, yes, that they will not have to go through this bankruptcy, yes, you, but Father. God, you are supernaturally getting them out of that yes. situation. We you are supernaturally it. getting the finances then for them to pay those creditors. Thank and you. we declare it in the same way yes. that Elijah did this through the word of the Lord for that Amen. woman, the word of the Lord is declaring that over the people right now. Those that have ears to hear, yes. you take hold of this take word. It. You take it, you believe it, and you receive it, and you take hold of the abundance that God has for you. Yes. There are those, Gloria, right now that are facing what seems to be impossibility where their bills are concerned. Yes. Some of them are facing, they're, they're facing situations where there is a foreclosure involved. Mm -hmm. They're on the brink of foreclosure. We are declaring the supernatural over them right yeah, now, amen. that they will supernaturally not have to foreclose on that house. Yes, they will not have to move out of that house. Thank you, They'll be able to keep it and they will flourish amen. and grow and grow. The hand of the Lord is upon them to do this. The blessing is working. The blessing. Glory. The blessing is working upon them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Thank you, Lord. Name. Thank you, Lord. To you be the glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. Awesome, yes. George. It's Praise working. Praise God, it's working. It's working. Second Kings chapter four. Here's one. And I mean, Gloria, they just, we just don't have time to go over all of these, but it's just one example after another of supernatural, supernatural. provision in the Old Testament. Yes. In Second Corinthians chapter four, and then in verse... Let's see, in verse 42, we have here yet another example of supernatural multiplication, supernatural multiplication. And we find that in verse 42, there came a man 
from Baal Shalisha and brought the man of God bread of the first fruits, twenty loaves of barley and full ears of corn in the husk thereof. And he said, Give these to the people that they may eat. And his servitor said, What, should I set this before a hundred men? He said, Give the people that they may eat. For thus saith the Lord, They shall eat I and shall leave. leave thereof. So he set it before them, and they did eat, and left thereof according to the word of God. This was a man who was bringing his tithe to the man of God to bless. This was the tithe that he was bringing. That got multiplied. That got multiplied. And his servant was the one that was, didn't have any faith. He said in the New Living Translation, he said, What? Feed a hundred people with only this? But Elisha repeated, give it to the people so that they can eat. For this is what the Lord says. This is what Everyone the Lord will says. Eat. This is what the Lord says. Everyone will eat and there will be some left over. Oh, that makes all the difference. It makes all this the difference. This is what the Lord This is what the Lord says. We in have verse, to remember that. Verse, verse 44, situation. the New Living Translation, And they gave it to the people, and there was plenty for all, and some left over, just as the Lord had promised. Supernatural Praise multiplication. God. Isn't that awesome? But we have to be obedient to the Lord to do what He tells us mm -hmm. to do. That's right. Gloria, we had a car. We were believing for a new car, a newer car. And we had a car many years ago. And it was really the first car, the first new car that Terry and I had. And our children were growing. It was the, one of the first SUVs. It was a Dodge Caravan. It was an early SUV. And we used it. And we, were, we had gotten to the place where we, we sensed that we needed to sell it and get another car. We tried to put it in the newspaper and tried to sell that. We could not sell that car. It was a good car. So we met together as a family. Terry, Aubrey... Jeremy, myself. Jeremy was probably 12 at the time. And we're sitting around the room praying about what to do with this car. And Jeremy spoke up and he said, I believe the Lord spoke to me. And he says, we're supposed to sew this car to our school. So it. Terry and I looked at each other. <laughs> we heard the word of the Lord from our 12 year old. The word of the Lord came. And you know what? We were obedient Praise to God. that command. And that was many, many years ago. Jeremy turns 35 this year. That, think about it. Think about that. Wow. But that's back when he was 12. But you know what? We have never lacked for a car. Praise God. Never lacked for a that's car. That's the way it works. You just do what you're told. And we sewed that car you joyfully. Right into the supernatural. The, and it brought, it, it brought us right into the supernatural. Praise God. That's what happened with this man. And I wouldn't be surprised if there were, in this instance, 12 baskets full left over. I wouldn't either. That would not surprise me whatsoever. Turn well, to Second Kings chapter. Well, the famine was over 24 hours later. It was over. It was over. There was plenty for all. Yeah. So I think that was a permanent situation. Yeah, breakthrough, permanent. Permanent breakthrough. Permanent breakthrough. Famine's out of here. Famine, famine is gone. Oh, we look at that scripture, 2 Kings chapter 7, yeah. in verse 1. Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Then the Lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, you shall see it with your eyes, but you'll not eat thereof. Tomorrow about this time. Tomorrow about this time, everything's going to be different. Tomorrow about this time, everything's going to change. 24 hours. 24 hours from now. 24 hour miracle. 24 hours. Our Glory miracle to God. from now, everything is going to be different. That famine was over 24 hours later. There was plenty for all, plenty for everyone. That was a supernatural act. Yes, it was. That was supernatural. Who was God then? Was it Jehovah? Was it the same God that we have? Today. Glory to God. Today. Our God. Today. Today. Our God. Oh, hallelujah. Our God. Listen. Thank you, Jesus. By this time tomorrow, everything is going to look different. Praise Gloria God. and I, I are decreeing that. that over you as a word it. from the Lord. I if you will take it, 
24 hours from this moment, things are going to look different in your and life. And better. And better. Increase. And better. It's going to Blessing. increase. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger in your life. Oh, thank you, Lord. Gloria, we just have a minute or so left. Let me read this last one to okay. you. This is supernatural restoration. And this was Job. Job's life was turned around. And in Job 42, we know the story of Job. We know it took place. We know it happened. And in the Message Bible, in verse 12, God blessed Job's latter life even more than his earlier life. He ended up with 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 teams of oxen, and 1,000 donkeys. It right. says in, verse, in verse, the next verse, he also had seven sons and three daughters. I mean, God restored, supernaturally restored a man when it looked like everything was gone and everything had failed. He's doing the same thing for you. Even though it may look like everything is gone in your life, he will do the same supernatural restoration that he did with Job. He had seven sons and three daughters. He named the first daughter Dove, the second one Cinnamon, and the third Dark Eyes. This is the message translation. There was not a woman in that country as beautiful as Job's daughters. Their father treated them as equals with their brothers, providing them with the same inheritance. And listen to this, Gloria. The message translation Job lived on another 140 years, oh, living to see his right. children and grandchildren, four generations of them. No matter what has happened in your life, Isn't supernatural that? restoration is yeah. available to you. Supernatural multiplication is available to you. Supernatural acceleration, this time tomorrow, it's all going to look differently. Gloria, so good, I mean, we, we plowed through all of these, but what I'm wanting us to get a hold of is God wants us to live in the realm of the super abundant, blessing. supernatural the blessing. Blessing. The, the blessing. The blessing, the blessing, the blessing. That's God's desire for it us, Gloria. It is. It's His will for me, and I'm walking Praise in it God. in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Awesome. Oh, Father, we thank you for our time together. So we thank grateful. you for the manifestation of the blessing, yes. the supernatural, and the glory in our lives. Glory in Jesus' God. name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Praise God. Praise God, Gloria. Wow. I like wow. it, George. Wow. The, the information is the manifestation. We got it. We got the it. Information the information is the manifestation. The information is yes, the manifestation. Amen. Wow. We Hallelujah. got it, Gloria. We, we got, got it. it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. George and I'll be right back. The supernatural takes us past the impossible through the unbelievable into the ridiculous. That as God is bringing you into this supernatural, he's bringing you into a place where the supernatural is no longer an option, but it's gonna be a requirement. For you to get what God has for you, it requires a supernatural. God has awesome ways and unlimited avenues of supply that supersede all natural limitations. They're all part of His supernatural provision for you. The Supernatural Provision Package includes a 10-part series with Gloria Copeland and Pastor George Pearsons. Enlarge your capacity to believe and begin receiving on a higher level than you ever thought possible. Also included are two bonus CDs by Pastor George that will take you higher in your understanding of the Word and help you access God's unlimited storehouse. The study notes of all 10 sessions are great for teaching small groups or for your personal Bible study. Then get ready to go to the next level with the Supernatural Church CD series by Pastor Bill Winston, a dynamic teaching that tells you the exceeding abundance that's available to you now. When you purchase your package, you'll also receive the Supernatural Provision Confession Card free. Tap into God's unlimited storehouse, take the limits off, and live in the realm of God's superabundance. Live in the realm of God's superabundance. Order the Supernatural Provision Package for only $39.99 and discover the unlimited ways God can provide all your needs. 
Log on to kcm.org slash TV special or call toll free 800-600-7395 and request your package today. Receive the supernatural abundance that only God can supply. For an additional 10% off, order the Supernatural Provision Package online. Abundance is under the blessing. Lack is under the curse. So the first step to being blessed, healing, uh, money, what all your needs met, is to get out from under that curse, which you do by receiving Jesus Christ as the Lord of your life. You get out, you know, you're still under the curse if you've never received him because he's the one that redeemed you from the curse of the law. The scripture says that. And that curse included poverty, lack, and sickness. So if you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, you're just in a hard place. I'm telling you, I wouldn't go back. You couldn't give me enough money to put me back in that place before Jesus was Lord in my life. So if you've never done that, just do it now with all your heart. Say, Jesus, Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Take my life and do something with it. Take my life and do something with it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I say that way because that's what I said to him. I never knew he'd do this with it, but <laughs> I offered it and he took it. Glory to God. And the blessing is working. It's ready to work in your life. You just say right, do right, and you'll have plenty of right blessing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God will meet all your needs. We have a free salvation package. Never made Jesus the Lord of your life. To, until today, will you let us, ha you let us uh, send this to you? Or if you just feel like you need the knowledge, well, we'll send it to you free and postpaid. It's got two brochures on how to study your Bible. Uh, you need to get on the, uh, so we, we could say on the, on the bandwagon, you need to get in the supernatural. And you do that by finding out what's in the Word, putting it in your eyes, your ears, getting it in your heart, and saying it out your mouth, and standing for it. Glory to God. So if you'd like to have it, just request the free salvation package. And... Get in a good church that preaches the Word. We don't go to church because that's the thing to do. We go to church because we want to hear the Word. Yes. We want to grow. Yes, we yes. want to walk by faith and <clears throat> increase. Glory to God. There are things available to you right now in the realm of the Spirit, saith the Lord, that's far beyond your ability to reason it out. So lay aside the reason, raise up your faith, and exercise your faith and gratitude towards me, and I'll show you things that it'll take your mind a while to grasp. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. Wealth and riches will be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Some claim God doesn't promise us New Testament believers physical prosperity, just spiritual. But the truth is, you can't separate the two. That's why Jesus says if you'll seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all these material things will be added to you. He knows that the spiritual and material realms are connected. When you get hold of the gospel and begin to prosper spiritually, you can begin to prosper physically and materially as well. As a born again child of God, dare to reach out and receive the riches that belong to you. My favorite scripture in the entire Word of God is Ephesians 3.20. Now unto him that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Came to San Antonio, Texas. The Lord gave us the privilege at that time to, with cash, buy a condo for my mother, three brand new houses for our daughters and our home, all with cash. Debt has been something that has not been a part of my husband and my life for... 10 years. That's what being out of debt gives you the ability to do, is to listen and then do what he tells you to do. Go where he tells you to go, bless who he tells you to bless. Billions are available. And it is truly not without knowing and reasoning and believing that God can move you into billions. Well, God moved us into millions. We got the privilege of just honoring the Father for what he gave to us. And when we did that, he just opened up the windows of heaven and it was Ephesians 3.20 and it was fun. After all those fun and exciting things, we're going, okay, Lord, we're ready for a new level. 
You want to be able to just be challenged and continue to see the Lord God work in your life and the Lord Jesus Christ be the true reality. He is truly who you want to honor. He is your substance. And if you got too much, you got to go up and you got to give. And it's so much fun. He just teaches and he brings the revelation through ministries like Kenneth Copeland and through Gloria Copeland and through George, Terry, the family. And you just, we have the privilege of hearing it and then putting it into action and seeing God work. He is without limitation. What do you want? What an amazing Isn't that wonderful? testimony. Janet, she entered into the millions and then one bought, they, she bought five houses Debt free. I mean, you could see you could see the glory of God That's all over awesome. her when she's talking, Gloria. I know. I got excited. I, well, I did too. We were <laughs> <laughs> we were watching that. It was like both of us were. Mm. My goodness, we need to know this lady. Yes. Well, we she is. She's a faithful partner of Kenneth Copeland Ministries, and we want to thank all of our partners. Oh, I mean, she's yes. debt free. She's walking in the supernatural and the abundance of right, Almighty God. God. And you know how she got there? She got there by sowing. She got there by tithing. She got there by using her faith and believing God. Yeah. And you can do the same thing. Today is offering day on the Believer's Voice of Victory. Thank you, partners, for the oh, faithfulness my. that you have in giving, the faithfulness you have in sowing into this ministry. And here's our scripture you, for you. It's the same scripture that Janet just quoted from Ephesians 3.20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can dare above. ask or think according to the power of God that works within you. I mean, that's what God is wanting to do for you in your giving, in your sowing, and in your reaping. Praise you God. Know, some people think, well, how can wow. God ever do that for me? He knows how. He knows that's how. That's proof right there. He knows how. That happens to me. This is what we do in church. When somebody gives a good testimony, they say, that happens to me all the time. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Washington, D.C. victory campaign still going on at the Hilton Memorial Chapel. If you didn't get there yet, you're late, but come on. In Woodbridge, Virginia, it's always a great meeting. The Spirit of God has so much freedom in that place, it seems like. Ken preaches tonight. I'm teaching healing school tomorrow. We'll be praying for people to be healed. If you're believing to receive your healing, make every effort to be there. Build your faith in the Word of God. You can also watch services online on kcm.org. Get up and do something. Get that Word in your eyes and your ears. You'll come out strong. George and I will be back next week, week two of our study on supernatural provision. Don't miss it. This is Gloria and George reminding you that Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Thank you for joining us today on the Believer's Voice of Victory. For this week's broadcasts on DVD or MP3 on CD, go to kcm.org or call or write to us today. Remember this week's product offer. These ministry tools are designed to help you get the Word working in your life so you can experience all God has for you. If you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior today, be sure to request your free salvation package. This will help you understand who you are in Christ and how to start living your new life in victory.